Today I'm going for my COVID vaccine. I made this appointment about a week ago, something like that. I received my letter through inviting me to book my vaccination because I have caring responsibilities. That's why, if you're wondering why maybe I've got it. And so when I got the letter through, I just went online, booked it, pretty simple. I found it like really easy process. Just go onto like NHS website and you put in your um, NHS number and your postcode and you find the local vaccination centre. There's one very close to me. I don't have to travel too far. I know of a few people like earlier on in the vaccination process who had to travel like miles and miles, like had to an hour and a half or whatever to go and get their vaccination. So I'm thankful that I've got a local one. The vaccine that I'm having is a two dose vaccine. So when I booked today's, I also had to book one for an appointment for 12 weeks in advance when I'll take my second dose of the vaccine. Fingers crossed I don't suffer too much with side effects. I know a few people who have suffered a little bit with the side effects from taking the vaccine, but um, fingers crossed. Right, time to go for this COVID vaccination. Right, we've arrived, just have to figure out where to actually go. It seems pretty well signposted. COVID testing centre. Vaccination, oh, so testing centre is around there. Vaccination centre is around here. There we go, all done. I've had my first vaccine. I have my little card that I have to take back when I get my second vaccine in 12 weeks time. All very well organized, which is to be expected. I guess very well signposted to get there and then everyone's you know, very kind and helpful. I just went up to the lady, the desk, and kind of checked in with my like number you're given a number when you like a reference number when you book your vaccination so i just gave her that number and just had to confirm my date of birth and various other things and then i was given this like big leaf well it's not really a leaflet is it it's like a, a two-sided thing about the uh it's covid19 vaccine astrazeneca is the uh vaccine I was given and obviously just on the leaflet there's a lot of information about the vaccine and then like side effects and everything the guy who did it said if I was driving just to sit and wait in the car for like 10-15 minutes just to check that I don't know nothing <laughs> it doesn't have some weird effect on me or whatever so I'm just gonna sit here for a little while to it's taking me like five minutes to get from the centre but I'm just going to sit here for a little while and hope that no uh, side effects come on. What does it say? It, very common. So, um, very common. May affect more than one in ten people. Uh, tenderness, pain, warmth, where the injection is given. Generally feeling unwell. Fatigue. Chills or feeling feverish. Headaches. Nausea. Na nausea, nausea. 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 That doesn't sound right. Anyway. Feeling sick. Joint pain or muscle ache, common, may affect up to one in ten people. A lump at injection site, fever, actually being sick. Flu-like symptoms such as high temperature, sore throat, runny nose, cough and chills. I've never had any, not, I don't know whether this means anything at all, but I've never had any sort of side effects of any other vaccination I have had in the past. I've had quite a few, like, with, like, being travel, like, going travelling and stuff. Never had anything, don't know whether that main means 
my body can deal with vaccinations or like what that means it may not mean anything anyway sit here for a little while and then go home should we have a look if there's anything add it in my left arm because I'm right handed it always makes sense to have it in your opposite I have a booze that's that was already there I don't even know where he did it I don't know it is um what is it six six seven hours after I've had the test and I've been fine all day I've just come up to bed though and all of a sudden I've just gone I don't know if there's anything to do with the um did I say the test with the vaccine it might not be anything to do with it but oh my goodness I've just got like I've gone really shivery and goose bumpy so I've just put I just had like a vest up and I was in bed with like a vest up and pyjamas and whatever I just had to go and get this big warm although it's not really doing anything for me but I'm all like just so shivery oh like you know when your skin feels like delicate to touch it <sighs> that's how i feel so i'm gonna try and just go to sleep <sighs> sleep it off and hopefully it'll be all all right in the morning because up until now <sighs> everything's been fine but oh I just snuggled underneath my covers. I've put thick socks on as well, cause oh, I'm just so shivery. And of course, I had to do a bit of um, a bit of googling, and it does say common side effects such as fever or chills. So I'm, I'm assuming like this is like chills. Show that the vaccine has been effective in stimulating an adaptive immune response. So there we go the uh what's it called the vaccine has stimulated an adaptive immune response within me oh i have my light in the morning oh i'm gonna sleep i do feel very tired and it's only quarter past eight but i don't think that's got anything to do with the um <laughs> the vaccine I'm going to go to sleep now. I feel like a bit achy, to be honest. Around my head, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go to sleep. And hopefully these chills are gone. By the morning. <sighs> it's about half an hour later and I'm getting some power seats tomorrow. I was trying to not take any, but I feel terrible. Ooh. The shivers are just uncontrollably, like... Oh. these down and hopefully I feel kind of short of breath I don't know whether I'm just like starting to make stuff up now I'm being a bit See if that helps, and I can get to sleep. Oh my god, it's horrible. It's the following morning, half past eight. Oh my goodness, what a night that was! It was just awful. I felt terrible all night i think i was awake most of it i ended up i fell asleep at like nine ish something like that 
and then I woke up at quarter past ten, all like shaking and shivery. Um, and then I and then I woke up at like midnight, and then I was waking up like every half an hour or an hour. Um, from then on, um, I took some more parsley down at like four o'clock. Didn't seem to do much to be honest. I was just like every time I woke up, I was like sweating so much. Like you know when like your skin is just like soaking. <laughs> um, oh, I was just like shivery. So I was like jump on, jump off, big socks on, big socks off. Um, all through the night, it was just it was not a good night at all when this morning it was like half past six i was like oh my goodness i've got to get up for the day it's like how am i gonna do it half past six i did feel still shivery and shaky and everything i got up and had a shower because i was like i'm gonna have to because i was all like <laughs> sweating throughout the night um and to be honest like since then i'm feeling a bit better um like up until like half past seven ish this morning i was like oh my goodness how am i gonna like do my day <clears throat> But in the last sort of half an hour, so I'm feeling, I'm feeling alright. I don't feel like feverish or anything anymore. Um, I've got a little bit of a headache, but that could be due to tiredness or whatever. But um, yeah, that was just a horrendous night. It was just horrible. We'll see how things progress throughout the day. Hopefully, that's it now. I can deal with a little bit of a headache, but I just that last night, I, just, I can't deal with that. Um, so fingers crossed we're over the worst of it and um, yeah a little bit of a headache that's fine so it is now Wednesday lunchtime ish and I had my vaccination two o'clock on Monday and today I'm feeling all right to be honest yesterday oh I felt kind of just really lousy all day just like a general kind of unwell feeling like nothing like the night the night was just horrible but the day i had yeah i just felt unwell I, I had like some headaches during the day and sort of like a bit dizzy feeling just generally sort of off and on throughout the day really um it did get better as the day went on like in the morning i wasn't sure whether i'd be able to like i had like, a meeting at three o'clock and i had different i was quite busy uh, yesterday and I just thought I don't know how I can do these meetings and do the things that I need to do today managed to do it all it was all <laughs> okay but yeah just did have that just general unwell feeling I did have one instance where I thought I was going to be sick and I went to the toilet thinking I was going to be sick but I wasn't in the end um, so there was that <laughs> uh, last night was no problem I did take some paracetamol throughout the day yesterday though um, maybe like two lots did I take so not loads but just like for the headaches and things really and then last night was no problem I went to bed nice and early to try and catch up on the sleep that I didn't get the previous night and I had like a good like seven and a half hours sleep whatever last night and no no issues and this morning so Wednesday like I say about 48 hours I'm feeling fine absolutely fine the only thing now is I'm getting my arm is slightly slightly hurt when you raise it up like there when I get to that position it quite hurts it hasn't hurt until this morning really my arm so that's a new thing for today but yeah I'm feeling feeling good now I did want to talk about that like so I wear a Fitbit like day and night and it tracks my sleep and my heart rate and everything and I was looking at it and so Monday night the the night that I had the vaccination there's a thing called zone minutes on Fitbit where you have to, like my rest and heart rate is between sort of 60 and 68, dependent, it sort of fluctuates throughout the months and weeks and whatever, but kind of, that's where it sits. And to get zone minutes, you've got to elevate your heart rate. And for me, it's, you've got to get your heart rate up to uh, 114 to start getting these like active minutes. So you, you like, if I go for a walk, just not like a, a proper like, power walk but more of a stroll I struggle to get active minutes so that's that shows you how much you've actually got to do to get these active minutes I was looking at my Fitbit and I got 149 active minutes during the night so I think my heart rate well it was my heart rate was very high during during the night 
when I look at it, so from quarter past midnight until like half past one, I got 44 Zoom minutes. From like two o'clock till three o'clock in the morning, I got 38 active minutes. And there's like a little chart, a little graph of your heart rate through the night. And you can see there from like midnight, just generally, I mean, my heart, I didn't have that and of an active day, but generally my heart rate was reasonably high and definitely like throughout the night like that graph starts at midnight and like all through the night my heart rate was really 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 high like at some point it was almost getting up to for me cardio starts at 136 and it almost reached cardio kind of level which is crazy so we'll just see how long the whole arm thing like it's nothing bad i can continue with normal life and i can pick the kids up and i can do things and whatever it's just a bit a bit achy it's not not a huge issue to be honest a few days have now passed and an update on the arm it probably lasted then uh, two days two three days a slight soreness in arm it wasn't in arm in my arm it was no real issue at all for me anyway you know it didn't stop me from being able to do anything it just kind of a little bit so i had my vaccination on monday and then my sister actually got a phone call from the gp there seems to be like two different systems that some of us are getting a letter and some of us are getting phone calls i don't really understand why that is or whatever but anyway my sister got a phone call to go for her vaccination she went on sunday and she didn't really have any side effects at all she said she felt generally just a little bit unwell the following day but nothing like how i felt like on that night that monday night so i mean obviously everyone is different to how they react to the vaccine my first night was just horrendous i'm hoping that the next one that i've got to do in 12 weeks i'm hoping you don't get the same sort of side effects i'm hoping it's a lesser a lesser thing because i don't want to have to go through that again it was horrible i'm so pleased that as a country we do seem to be doing really well with our vaccinations and we're getting through an awful lot of people which is a good thing i know that vaccines can be a little bit controversial so you know do let me know your thoughts when you are invited for your vaccine are you gonna go and get it and if you already had it did you suffer like i did like what were your side effects anyway i'm gonna end this video here i am sat in the supermarket car park at the moment and i'm about to go to the tip with all of this cardboard that's next to me here but yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you soon bye bye